Greetings, beloveds. <clears throat> beloveds, do not use the ego to harm yourselves. Do not then say, I must now eat only the fruit of the earth. And if I have eaten anything that has been manufactured by man, if I eat anything that is cooked, I am now committed to a life of disaster. <laughs> Beloveds, at each and every moment, you have the ability to shift your consciousness. And your consciousness can be shifted through prayers, through fasting, through a change in diet, through exercise, through breath. And you can heal that which you have allowed to fall into darkness, if you will, through ignorance, through the unwillingness to investigate. When you allow yourself, and when you say, I am committed to awakening, I am committed to knowing the truth, I am committed to living by the truth, I am committed to healing the body, <laughs> you would not believe the amount of beings that rush forward to help you. Information will be placed in front of you. You will begin to have conversations such as the one that you have been having this morning. People will have different pieces for you. But beloveds, we would like to suggest that you lend forgiveness to the ways in which you have lived, the ways in which you have thought, the ways in which you have acted, what you have eaten, how you have eaten it, when you have eaten it. Beloveds, you will each come to your own choices and decisions to eat but once a day. You will each come to your own choices and decisions to eat food that comes from the earth. You will indeed begin to grow your own food. You will indeed begin to cook your own breads. Hmm. However that may be does not need to be with ovens, beloveds. Use the power of the sun. Use the power of the angel of fire, the angel of air, the angel of water. Bless the food, bless the food from the seeds to the farmers who grew the food, to those who manufactured the food, those who packaged the food, those who distributed the foods. Bring yourself to market, beloveds. Find ways, look for ways. Many of this is written. It is indeed written and spoken by my word. It is indeed written and spoken by many of the elders with whom you are becoming reacquainted, <laughs> many of whom you are. And allow yourselves, beloveds, to open to all the information that will now begin to come towards you because you have committed to taking these steps. You have committed to once again reawakening yourselves and bringing yourselves back to the wholeness that the earthly mother has gifted and granted you in the form of the communication vehicle of the body that you have borrowed from her. The conversation that we had with Sahana Grace in which we had pointed out to her that she takes better care of the car that she is leasing or the home that she is renting than she does the body which has been with her for her, some of her 60 years. Beloveds, at any moment you can start the clock anew. At any moment, you can say, I will reconcile everything that I have done up to now. I will release it. I will forgive it. And I will step now into the alignment with truth, the alignment with love, the alignment with light. And you do this, beloveds, through your will. And you once again reconcile and bring yourselves back to that which you have known yourself to be, which is the pure light of truth, truth with a capital T. Not the lies, not the ego, not any of the garbage that you have eaten, that you have read, that you have watched. Beloved, stop watching television. Stop watching horror movies. Indulge yourself in knowledge and wisdom that lives within you. All you are doing is wasting time, and time indeed can be wasted. It is the one modicum. It is the one thing that you have that you choose what to do with. And this is why it has been given to you in this linear process. So you can say, this was the past, this is the present, this is the future. Not to wring your hands and grieve for what you have done in the past and not to 
be frantic and full of anxiety for what is to come in the future, but beloveds instead to bring yourself to the present moment of now and to say, here I am. And with a breath, I bring myself to peace within my heart. And I let go of the fear of the future or the regrets of the past. And I will do one thing and one thing only, and that is to exist within the heart and the mind and the love of what is true. Ask to be shown the truth, beloveds, not your truth or someone else's truth. Ask to be shown the truth and then be prepared for what it is you're about to see. And when you feel that you need assistance, beloveds, and when you feel that you are frightened or have any sense of concern, call upon us and we will come and rest, um, rest assured. We will let you know that you are where you are meant to be always. <laughs> Blessings to you, beloveds. This journey is a very exciting one. I am honored and delighted to be on it with you, brothers and sisters. I love you, and I will speak with you again. <laughs>